What's going on, everybody? Welcome into sports. Mike Gundy's squad struggled last night against their Big 12 foe, the Texas Longhorns. In particular, it was the offense. The Cowboys got inside Texas's 30-yard line eight separate times during the game. Out of a 56 possible points they could have scored, OSU instead scored just 30. We kicked a bunch of field goals. We went for fourth and one, didn't get it. And we tried a fake field goal and didn't get it. So let's just say we convert half of those. It's a much, much different game. You can't kick field goals consistently like that and go come down here and beat a team that's, what are, what are they ranked, 10th or 12th, I don't know. I mean, you're not going to beat them down here kicking field goals. We try to build a mentality in some of those short yards plays that that's Oklahoma State time. And uh, people know that we might run it. We're still going to be able to get an inch and a yard. And after watching a few of the replays, you know, we get knocked back a little bit. Um, there's no frustration. Uh, like I said uh, before, um, we just got to work as a team, execute, and, um, and we'll be good. I mean, uh, we're a great team. Uh, we just fought and battled to the fourth quarter with, with a great team. So uh, props. Props to them. I mean, that's on me. I just got to do a better job, you know, fighting for those yards. Um, you know, it was there, so, you know, that's something I got to work on, and, you know, we'll be back. When we get into the red zone like that, we got to be able to punch it in. Uh, we can't kind of put our defense on the on the hills like that, and especially have offense, we got to be able to put that in the end zone. And on the rant tonight, Kelly Hines and Bill Haston from the Tulsa World talking about Chuba Hubbard's 37 carry workload. You know, I just think that it comes down to LD Brown is is not what they yeah. thought he would be. You know, I I had someone what tell about me at, at, at right. yeah, no, he's definitely intriguing. I don't know if there's not a confidence level with him yet, but you know, someone told me at media day, you know, LD Brown, he's gonna have a breakout season. Oh, I don't see that happening. You know, obviously there's there's <laughs> well, there's not a lot of confidence in him either to have one carry when Chuba's out there. You know, 37. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know how you can really pretend to know what L.D. Brown is or certainly what Jeter might be. I mean, if they're not getting any game reps. I mean, yep. you, you got to roll them out and try them. you got to see what they can do. Tulsa got their second win of the season yesterday at 11th and Harvard as they beat Wyoming 24-21. They were up 17-7 until the Cowboys scored 14 fourth quarter points to come back. Shamari Brooks scored on a 19-yard run with 326 left to go. Then Cooper Edmondson forced a fumble at the Tulsa three to stop Wyoming from taking back that lead. TUQB Zach Smith in the game, 354 yards and two TDs. Travis skips him on facing adversity. I think our whole team is trained for situations like that. Uh, when we do training in the offseason, you know, our strength coaches put us through adversity in moments that we wouldn't expect. So we're never um, complacent, if I should say. And when those times come, we, we have no choice but to stand up to it. You know. Um, Shoot, our defense came out, dominated adversity. Our offense came out, faced adversity, overcame it. That's, those are the results that you get when teams can overcome adversity like that and not run away from it. I'm extremely proud of the way we won because a lot of adversity throughout this game. As I looked at our schedule before the season started, every one of those teams that are on our schedule knew every one of them were going to be tough games. And it's going to be games that come down to the wire, that you have to find a way to go win. And I thought our team today just continued to battle adversity and then found a way to win. And when you're a winning QB at TU, you get to conduct the band. Zach Smith, what was that like? I'm not going to lie to you. Moves. I'm not going to lie to you. I uh, completely winged it. So <laughs> I, I didn't even know I was going to do it. And I was just up there doing it, you know. So I winged it. I was just trying to go with the rhythm.